Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. I am finally uh, riding um, my Norco Torrent S1 steel hardtail bike uh, on a proper trail for the first time. I started riding from uh, West Brack Creek, this trail called Bragging Rides. So I took Bragging Rides to uh, reconnect, then um, came down long distance. This is basically a flowy trail, some uh, rudy and uh, rocky section. I didn't miss a uh, full suspension bike. I found um, the hardtail is good enough to ride on these kind of trails. I um, did uh, set up my bike with uh, tubeless, which um, like, you know, I did it from the beginning. Um, so uh, otherwise I also wrapped the bike with uh, 3M film to just to protect the bike and um, no other changes for as far as the bike uh, goes I'm just testing it um, for the first time I may I'm considering the I'm cutting down the stem length uh, to 32 the, the factory stem length is 45 mil um, only reason I'm trying this because I found few occasions when I'm climbing up hills the front um, wheel was coming off the ground so I think the little bit longer stem uh, might help so I'm keeping this if you guys have any suggestion please feel free to put it in the comments I really appreciate any kinds of comments and please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up Being a steel frame bike, it is a bit heavier, which actually helps with the, uh, the it's not as stiff. And so uh, vibration and, um, you know, all the bumps, it absorbs better. I weigh the bike uh, without um, anything, uh, except I added the paddle and the water bottle cage and my little pump cage. I didn't have the pump. so. It weighs about uh, just above 30 pounds, so it's like uh, about 30.5 ish pounds. So it is a little bit heavier bike than uh, usual hardtails. Hardtails are running probably around um, 28 pound ish, and also it goes with the frame size. I'm riding large frame. It is a pretty big bike. Uh, the wheelbase is uh, about 12. 46 uh, the length but I really I am really enjoying the slack uh, head tube angle which is 64 and then the steep seat tube angle uh, it's 76 degree so it, it is um, pretty good when going downhill the descent like yeah I'm very uh, like I, I, I'm, I'm confident now more than uh, before I went with the slacker head to angle. The bike handlebar length is 800 mil. That's something I am gonna play around, uh, ride a little bit more, and um, thinking about dropping to uh, 780. Uh, because 800 I find it sometimes it's just a little bit too big but um, I don't want to cut it because once I cut it then it's too late to um, you know make it longer again uh, only reason I want to cut it down especially you know it, it, it is it hopefully it'll give me a little bit more um, you know technical turns and everything a little bit more control and also some areas I find um, the, the tree is usually when I'm going between trees they're pretty narrow feel like I'm just gonna hit my bar so um, 780 I think might help uh, anyway um, if you guys have any suggestion uh, for a hardtail bike what you ride please um, put it in the comment section I, I love to hear from you guys
as far as the front four goes it comes with um, lyric um, ultimate uh, fork a rock shock lyric ultimate fork I am uh, about 172 uh, ish uh, pound with uh, my gears and everything on um, so I'm I'm using about 83 psi and uh, four clicks from the close the rebound and um, the so damping the high speed and low speed I use um, it's um, from the open I used uh, two click close and the low speed I'm using seven uh, if you guys have any suggestion like this is something also I'm playing around but what you guys run please um, let me know in the comment section As far as the tire pressure goes, um, like I said that I set up the tubeless setup. Um, I'm running at 25 PSI for my rear tire, which um, also this bike comes with uh, Max's dissector. Um, it's the um, EXO Plus. Um, it's pretty good tire. I heard uh, lots of good reviews. And the front tire is the Max's Asagai, which is pretty grippy. I am running about 22 psi. Um, this is also I'm just testing it, um, see how it goes. I might uh, drop a little bit more psi. Especially I'm uh, planning on doing a cush core for my rear tire. Only reason I was gonna do it from uh, the beginning when I picked up the bike, I didn't do it because I pulled the um, tubes out to. Um, Get rid of some weight and also I'm sure it'll help with the uh, puncture um, uh, but uh, it'll add that extra pound of weight that's why I didn't add the Kushko right away and uh, do you guys find uh, Kushko actually helps or is it just that marketing thing so that's why I just thought you know I'll try uh, without anything but also I'm, um, I'm worried that you know I don't want to ruin my rims because uh, these rims are pretty good uh, it comes with um, stance flow s1 with the xt hub um, so again i you know i want to uh, save my investment here so hopefully um, i don't know is the kush is going to help or not so this is something again i'm trying to i'm checking out online and if you guys have any thoughts please um, add it in the comment section i really appreciate any kind of help from you guys this is a uh, long distance trail this is the one uh, pretty much uh, goes downhill at the beginning there's a little bit of um, uphill climb but then it goes downhill I actually rode this trail once before last year and this is the second time I'm riding and this time I'm actually riding by myself my buddy is out of town so uh, and um, I totally forgot how this trail was but actually I found it pretty pretty fun so I'm hoping I'm looking forward um, to ride this again uh, this summer this is pretty uh, old-school um, fun flowy trail some Rudy sections I did set up my uh, fork sag about 20% which is uh, recommended by uh, RockShock. Uh, again this is um, I'm gonna try it out see how it goes but so far I found um, the fork is really really good um, as uh, you may heard from my uh, previous videos I was uh, looking for actually Rocky Mountain Growler 40 and um, then later I had actually deposit actually even it came uh, to my local bike shop. I um, went there to look at it and uh, test rode it. I have a video which I'll post it um, later uh, just to um, show you guys that like a little bit of review video. 
but you know I didn't want to go with that Rocky Mountain 40 I had a large and medium both size uh, hold for me I wrote them both I mm, like the medium as far as um, like you know uh, playfulness wise um, but I found it my knee was I found it is too close to the cockpit so uh, large size uh, would be better uh, it'll give me more confidence also running downhill so the, the reach goes wise uh, the Rocky Mountain Growler and this one large is they're pretty close uh, Rocky Mountain Growler is 470 mil this is 480 but this one has a one degree uh, steeper seat tube angle so it's a little bit more closer to the the cockpit um, so that was another reason I thought you know I'll go with this otherwise I didn't get the Rock 140 because the, the component it comes with the um, SR Suntour fork um, which is you know it's a decent uh, budget fork but I just thought you know if I wanted to upgrade later it'll cost me more money I was also looking for uh, or looking at that uh, Growler 50 I have one on uh, like a pre-order now but only size that I can get is the medium again that's another reason I just thought you know if I got this large size uh, I had to pick uh, right away I didn't have enough time to you know make a decision so I picked this bike the Growler 50 comes with the RockShox um, 35 gold fork which is also the OEM fork so this fork makes that this bike's price a lot higher because this is I guess the top of the line fork um, the rock shock lyric ultimate and so far I am really enjoying it I uh, dialed um, uh, low speed compression a little bit uh, after this section this is um, I'm riding on uh, bragging rights this is the last portion uh, it's pretty uh, decent uh, downhill it's pretty fast and flowy everybody enjoys this if you guys come to West Brack Creek I highly recommend uh, ride white tail up and then come down this way bagging rides it's so much fun i can ride this trail 100 times i'm still not gonna get bored so it's highly recommended trail another thing i mentioned in my previous uh, review video for this um, uh, torrent s1 that i'm going to change the shifter this one comes with the uh, XT derailleur and SLX uh, cassette but uh, the shifter comes with the uh, SLX shifter which is a good shifter but I'm thinking uh, to uh, upgrade it to XT shifter so I can have multiple downshift as well as the upshift and also it is a rapid shifter the XT so XT and XTR is the rapid shifter and uh, Dior and SLX has like you need to click first and then when you release that's the time it changes the gear I found it you know when some situation comes you need to change the gear right away so a rapid shifter might help so that's something I'm looking forward to change and once I change it and put it on uh, I will let you guys know how it is so again thanks for uh, tuning into my channel uh, I would really appreciate if you guys um, subscribe to my channel I this is a new channel I'm trying to grow this is all about mountain biking and outdoor activities so um, this is the COVID time there is no other option but biking so here I am biking um, please give me a thumbs up and see you next time keep riding bye bye